three clues that you're making progress. This is the Athletic Scholarship Podcast, episode number 137. Welcome to 15 Minutes That Will Change Your Scholarship Future. I'm John Fugler, an athletic scholarship coach and the dad of two scholarship athletes. I also head up Recruit Me. I'm an author and speaker as well as, of course, a podcaster. Glad to have you aboard. And it is our first March Madness episode. Uh, speaking of madness, people asking me, what do you think about that recruiting scandal, college admissions scandal that all those elite rich folks are, are taking advantage of? And uh, I say, well, it's not really a scholar athletic scholarship thing. That's not it. Yeah, up the road here from where I am in North Carolina, there was a coach that uh, took, I think, $50,000 as a bribe, a uh, volleyball coach. But it certainly wasn't to add a volleyball player to his team. No, none of these issues, from what I know, were <laughs> ones where the athletic department benefited from it. No, it's just one person getting paid off here, another one there. And uh, it was, it's a money issue. It's not an athletic scholarship issue. And, you know, look at the NCAA these days. And they're a huge organization and, and there's so many regulations. Sometimes I feel it's overregulated. However, you've got people who just take advantage and they find a way around the rules and they still do. That's why we have recruiting violations. It just tighter and tighter, more and more regulations, more and more red tape. Uh, the NCAA, just a, a huge, a huge organization right now. It's a, it's a machine. So as we come up on March Madness, this is where the bulk of their money comes from, I think, is basically the, the TV rights to the March Madness games. And that's why we've got 68 teams to start out with. <laughs> and you got your... Your pre-games, which I think are tonight as this uh, show is releasing on Tuesday and heading into this weekend in the field of 64. But that's kind of my thought on that. Hey, next week, I want you to uh, be here for my interview with Brent Hanks. And Brent is a dad of a D1 athlete who is recruited, and he's going to tell his story. He's going to tell his story with uh, with me, and we've done the interview already, so I know it's good. You're going to hear about his son who is in college now and competing, as I said, and his other son who is in high school and what Brent learned through the process with his first son and what he's applying with his second son. It's great to hear from parents, and he and I had an excellent conversation. Join me next week for that. Um, I do want to let you know that uh, the free recruiting power pack is available at recruitme.com. Go ahead and get that. And speaking of free, I'll mention again that if you want the athletic scholarship playbook as an audiobook, Audible, uh, go get it. You got to use the link uh, on my uh, show notes or on my resources page to get it free. You can get the audiobook free when you sign up for a one month trial with Audible. Just put a note in, you know, a reminder in your phone, an alarm, one month later, like 28 days later. If you don't want to continue with Audible, you can cancel, but at least you get the book free, and that's fine. They want you to try it. They know that a lot of people are going to cancel, but others are going to say, yeah, I, I love audiobooks, and this is a great deal. But you get the Athletic Scholarship Playbook for free, and you can't beat that. And I want to have a disclosure here. I am an affiliate, as many are, of Audible, and, yeah, they, they pay me. Uh, when somebody does this, when somebody gets the book for free, when they sign up for the free trial, they actually give me a few bucks. <laughs> so I'll disclose that right out front. Um, but it really is up to you to uh, uh, decide whether you want that and if you want the athletic scholarship playbook, audiobook for free. Uh, we're going to get into uh, the first thing that I, I don't want to forget this, and this is the Athletic Scholarship Playbook Tip of the Week. We take one quick tip each week, uh, and you can apply this. Uh, and this week's tip, tip comes from, I've actually got the book open here, page 30. Uh, you should take road trips. This could be one of the most rewarding things that you do together. It's not a recruiting trip, not just a recruiting trip, but a chance to see what a college campus looks like and feels like, et cetera, and do that together. It's in 3D. That's your tip of the week. Make sure you take road trips. Can't learn everything online. Can't learn everything from conversations with coaches and emails back and forth 
with uh, admissions departments. You got to go and you got to see it. Let's get into this week's episode, three clues that you're making progress. Recruiting seems like this mystery. (laughs) And you're wondering, what is this all about? Uh, Behind the veil, what's going on? How do these athletes get recruited? How are they getting these scholarships that I read about? What is this process? We only hear the end result, don't we? We hear that so-and-so signed here, so-and-so signed there, full ride, uh, half scholarship. I mean, we're hearing about it, but we don't know what the process was. And so it, it can be a real mystery. I know. I've been there myself, and we've been there as a family. Here are some clues in this mystery that you are making progress. I could mention the obvious clues like um, coaches show up at your games or matches. <laughs> That's a clue that you're making progress. They want to see you compete. Parent, they want to see your son or daughter compete. Uh, you get phone calls. You get emails. Uh, you get responses when you put word out to coaches. All these things are clues that you're making progress. Um, in some cases, they talk to you afterwards. They see you compete. Uh, NAIA rules are looser than NCAA, so coaches can get face-to-face and talk with you afterwards. They ask you for a f- to come for an official visit, and they pay your way. That is indeed a clue that you're making progress. All those things I mentioned are not clues. All those things are obvious, right out in the open, um, revelations that you are making progress, but... There are things that I call clues you might miss, and you got to keep your antenna up. These clues are more common than what I've just mentioned because you may not always hear from coaches. You may not always get those calls. You may not be invited for an official visit, but coaches are interested and you're moving further in the recruiting process. You just have to be a good listener to pick up on these things. A big, li- a good listener, a good observer. Let's go through three of these. First, coaches are telling you where you could fit in. Key word is could. They're not saying, hey, I've got a spot for you. You are my recruit. I've got, when you enter freshman year, I have got a spot for you. And I can guarantee you that you're going to play. Well, well, that's, yeah, that's not a clue. Again, that's a revelation. But there are clues, like the coach may say, yeah, I'm looking for second baseman. I'm looking for a second baseman. And that's what I'm recruiting for, because the guy I have now, he's graduating uh, the year before you come in, and I'm going to need somebody like you. The coach is saying that because he feels that you are a possibility, that you could fit and fill that gap, fill that role. He's not saying that you're the one, but there's an opportunity there. He's verbalizing to you that you could fit in. Coaches are planning ahead. They know when they're going to have openings. If a coach is talking to you and communicating with you, he or she is is seeing that you could fit in two years down the road one year down the road when they're going to have that opening. So that's a good sign. That's a good clue. Coaches are telling you where you could fit in. That means there's interest. Second thing, I, I, you know, I know we all want to guarantee. We want to guarantee from the coach that, man, uh, <laughs> you, wanna, you don't want to have to go through this recruiting process much longer. You want to seal the deal. However, coaches aren't always that straightforward until the very end. But take these hints, take these clues, and know that you're making progress. Second thing, a clue that you're making progress is that coaches are inviting you to visit. I'm not talking about official visits. That's not a clue. That's a revelation. A clue is they're saying, you know, why don't you come visit? Check out my school. Uh, Do the campus tour. Come see our facility. Talk with some of my players. Meet the coaching staff. Spend an hour with me. 
this is an indication that coach is, is willing to, he or she might be pursuing you at that point. However, there's, it shows that there's interest. That's a good clue that you're making progress. You're being invited on campus. The coach is going to have to give her his or her time up. Uh, maybe some of the assistant staff as well. Time is a commodity, just as it is for you, it is for them. But they're saying, hey, yeah, come visit. Come see it firsthand. That is a, uh, that's a clue that you're making progress. I'm not saying coaches inviting you to camps is a clue. I wouldn't say that. Uh, camps are a whole different, whole different ball game, and they're trying to fill spots at that camp, and it's usually not full of recruits. But when the coach says, hey, come see me, come talk with me, come see the campus, come watch practice, those kinds of things, that's a clue that you're making progress. Now, the third thing, this one's up to you. The third clue that you're making progress is that you're getting better. You're becoming a better athlete. You say, well, where does that fit in? I mean, just because I'm getting a better, be, being a better athlete, how, how's that, how's that mean that I'm making progress towards a scholarship? Here's the reason. As you get better, you become a good fit at more schools. You open up the possibilities. You're excelling. You're a notch above you were where were you were, say, six months ago or a year ago. And all of a sudden, these programs which were closed to you become open and coaches show interest. See why I say it's up to you? You've got to do what it takes to become a better athlete. This isn't just coaches pursuing you. You need to take the initiative you need to be a self-starter. You need to figure out how you can become better and then do that and become a better athlete. And a bigger world opens up to you. That's pretty awesome, I think. So coaches are telling you where you could fit in. Coaches are inviting you to visit. And then it's back to you. You are getting better. Three clues that you're making progress. Hope that helps. There are others too. Keep your antenna up. Notice things that will indicate that you're making progress. You got to be real sensitive to that. Got to keep your eyes open. That's really important. Hey, I want to let you know about something coming up that I'd like your help on. And it's this. I'm putting together a series of, I'm calling them handbooks at this point for lack of a better word and a better name. I've got my playbook out there, but the series of handbooks goes deeper than the playbook. The playbook is your step-by-step -step plan to an athletic scholarship. As you move along, you're going to find yourself wanting more information about each of these steps and some of the steps in between. I've gotten questions from parents and athletes asking me about certain areas, certain issues, uh, things like what we've talked about in this episode of the podcast. So I'm putting handbooks together that will go hand-in-hand -hand with the playbook, whether you use it Use the handbooks before you read the playbook or concurrently or after or even if you don't order the playbook at all, which would be tragic. But these handbooks will help you get a, a leg up on the competition, help you further your opportunity to get an athletic scholarship and to be a recruit at multiple schools. So I'm talking about calling them handbooks and maybe you could just – Give me your feeling on, on that. Is that what we should call it? There'll probably, there'll probably be three of these, multiple chapters that go into specific things deeper than what you see in the playbook about recruiting and how it applies to you. And, of course, they're always applicable. When, you're, when I'm putting stuff out, it's got to be applicable or I don't put it out. This isn't theory. This is practice. Um, so I'm putting that out there. I'll give you updates as I move along and share with you some of the topics of the chapters. And you can help me name this, but right now it's a handbook. I want to introduce that to you. Uh, keep your mind open. Have any suggestions, you go ahead and write me at john at recruitme.com. John at recruitme.com. Did I mention the recruiting power pack? It's free. Get it. Uh, three things you get in there. First steps to an athletic scholarship when and how to use video and the player profile and resume template. All these three things are immediate downloads. They're free at recruitme.com. 
and make sure you check out Recruit Me 3.0 at recruitme.com slash system. I'll have links in my show notes as well. Until then, we'll talk to you next time with a great interview with Brent Hanks, a dad of two athletes, one in college and one in high school. Have a great week. It is March Madness.